Hi, my name is Tiana Bursley, and I am here to speak of my testimony of what God has done in my life. In October of 2020, as I was seeking the Lord and seeking Jesus and beginning to build and understand a relationship with Holy Spirit, was my first encounter with something of the supernatural. And one night I was at a worship night with family and just praising and worshiping the Lord. And during that time, my voice started to get taken away and this growling manifestation began to come out of my mouth. I had such a fear that I didn't know what was going on. No one around me heard it, but I just kept it very secretive and very quiet because I didn't quite understand what was going on and it scared me in some way. During this time, December of 2020 and into 2021, was a time that I was beginning to just seek after the Lord fully with all of my heart and wanting to seek His presence and wanting to replace the lies that the enemy had over my life with the truth in the Word of God. During that time too, I was still very much so living in the world, as we have called it, but just like definitely one foot in society and living in the ways that I wanted, not what God had in store for me, and just one foot with Him. In October of 2021, my life definitely began to drastically change. One again, one evening, I was at a worship night, and again, this manifestation, this growling began to appear. And over the last year, as I just explained on my first time, it kept reappearing, but I didn't tell anybody about it. And I finally came to this point of, I am done. I don't want this anymore. And also I began to have a lot of anxiety and panic attacks were coming up again, bouts of depression again, stuff that I had suffered from for many, many years. And I was just getting to this point I'm done. And I turned to my dear friend and I looked at her and I explained to her and she just came and she goes, you know, I received some healing a couple years ago. I went to this conference and just received through prayer. And I said, okay, let's go. Like, I'm ready to go. I don't know what it is. I don't know where I'm going to. I just know that God is there. God is working and I want to be in his presence. And also that same Tuesday, I had went in for my annual exam to the doctors. So I'm thinking, you know, I'm fine. I've always been fine. No big deal. I continue on. So we go down and we arrive and lo and behold, it's the Race to Deliver conference that Hungry Gen has every year. And this is in October of 2021. And you could just feel the faith in the room. It was, it was something that I have never actually felt fully in my life of just believers just gathered and just seeking the presence of God and just wanting His presence. And so we're singing and we're worshiping and again, here comes the growling, it's starting back again. And in that moment, my whole body was no longer mine. And it was the manifestation of the demonic that came over me and I was brought up to the altar and it was my first ever encounter with God and the power of God and the power of Holy Spirit and the power of Jesus Christ. And God just showing me in my spirit of just this ancestral witchcraft that was in my family lineage that was such a bondage over my life. And I was freed of the depression. I was freed of anxiety that I had had and I was on medication for 12 years. I was also delivered of that ancestral witchcraft. And lo and behold, before I even know, God also delivered me and He healed me of a cancer diagnosis that was coming the following week. I realized also in that first deliverance that I had received that I had a dependency on alcohol. And to most, it wouldn't look like that I had an, a problem with alcohol, but I had a dependency on it. I would drink every night after work, sometimes even during the day to just handle my stress and what was going on in my life. I tried a sip of alcohol again and I no longer liked it. So it was just a blessing of God to free me of that alcoholism, this addiction and alcoholism that ran through my family. So I come home from that conference and I go and I get a call from my doctor that I need to come in immediately. So immediately cancer comes up and I'm looking at the TED results and I'm just going, oh my gosh, no, you know, what do you do? Fear comes trying to make its way back in, anxiety is making its way back in, what am I gonna do with my life, my job, family, all the things that are part of your life. But what's so incredible and what's so important is it's who you surround those with. I had my dear friend who went with me to this conference and we had this joke 
but it was not just a joke. It really was a form of faith that said BD and AD, before deliverance and after deliverance. And she said, before deliverance, the cancer was there, and now you've been delivered. It's after deliverance that no more cancer is there. He delivered me, and he, you have to believe in that. So it was the faith of friends. It was the faith of family, and just declaring, no, Lord, you already took this from me. It is gone. A couple weeks later, I go, and I go to the oncologist office, and he stops dead in his tracks, and the doctor says, your blood work is 100% fine. Why are you here? You do look like you're healthy. You shouldn't be here. I don't know why you were sent here. And I was in such shock. I had no words to come out of my mouth. And immediately, though, my mother's faith just declared the name of Jesus. And she goes, it is Jesus. God healed her. It is Jesus who healed her. And it was such an uh, incredible moment and such a faith-building moment that I didn't know that I needed with what was coming up next in my life. I received this great news and just experienced God's unconditional love. Three days later, I didn't know that my whole life would really change in every possible way. I was driving over to my parents' house to go visit them on an afternoon, and I was in a major hit and run car accident. Due to that accident, I ended up suffering a traumatic brain injury and my spine had been slightly moved. With a traumatic brain injury, it depends on the severity of it, but mine ended up being where I could no longer speak well. I lost a lot of my ability to speak English, which is my first language, and Spanish, which is my second language. My memory, my short-term memory, I couldn't remember things in the moment. I would get up from the chair. I have no idea what I was doing. I didn't know what I was working on anymore. I couldn't remember if I called somebody. I couldn't remember text messages. Some of us be like, oh, that happens to me often. But for me, it was something I always remembered. I couldn't remember if I brushed my teeth. I couldn't remember where I had gone to or in the day. Sometimes I didn't know what place I was driving to. That was of a concern. I couldn't walk anymore. I, my movement was done. I couldn't be in the lights anymore. That's another thing with traumatic brain injuries, injuries being around lights, being around noise being in restaurants, being in grocery stores, going to be able to drive my car. I couldn't drive my car for more than five to 10 minutes without wanting to throw up. Uh, my balance was completely off. I couldn't read anymore. I enjoyed reading books. I couldn't read. I couldn't watch TV. I couldn't listen to music. I couldn't even go for a walk. I couldn't ride my bike. I love to ride my bike. I couldn't ride my bike anymore. Just enjoying friends, enjoying family, going to church. I, I felt like I couldn't be in church. It was too loud, it was too many people. So I was in a small group and I couldn't even speak during group. I would just look down like this and just listen. I couldn't read the, my Bible, I couldn't participate in that, but I was listening. I would just listen to God's word. So I continue on this process of rehabbing and to fast forward into November of 2020, I knew Raised to Deliver was going on and I wanted to go because I wanted to be healed. I wanted to be able to move again with no pain. I wanted this traumatic brain injury to go on, so off we go again. And I went for healing, specifically physical healing, but God had a different plan in store for me. And during that conference, I was uh, delivered of a spirit of death. I was delivered of a spiritual spouse and I was delivered of the Jezebel spirit and of some generational curses as well. So God's power showed up mightily and He freed me of so much more that had oppressed me and kept me from where God, and after that deliverance, I began to seek and look at God and then look at myself in such another light. It was that previous year was the healing of the rehabbing, intensive doctor's appointments, 11, I had about on average about 10 to 12 doctor's appointments a week. So that was my focus. So then I took a life class with Hungry Jen and I went out for the encounter weekend. And in this encounter weekend, again, receiving more inner healing, but just a continuation more of the supernatural and the power of God. And in that moment, when I was delivered of the spirit of rejection, the power of God just came over me and this joy and this ability to just be free and filled with love and movement. From returning from the encounter weekend, 
You know, immediately when I came back, I just was just in his presence and I was just so thankful for being delivered of that spirit of rejection. Usually right away when I come home, I do exercises that the physical therapist has given me. And I was like, okay, I have to start doing my exercises. And they're not always fun to do. They're actually pretty painful for me during that time and just continue to rebuild and just persevere. So I get up and I start to do the exercises and all of a sudden I realize in that moment that all of my pain is gone. I had full range of my neck. Usually there was so much pain in my right side of my neck and I didn't have it anymore. My whole right side of my body, my arm, the ability to move, to lift things and move up and down, no pain, to be able to go up and down, up and off the chair and have no pain. It was just all gone and just tears started streaming out of my face and I just couldn't believe it that God had physically healed me. I was like, oh my gosh, I am healed. This is incredible to believe that he healed me. And I'm seeing it, an actual manifestation of the physical healing, this pain that I've been in for almost two years, completely gone. Instantly, I just felt in my spirit and just hearing from the Lord, being like that spirit of rejection was that final piece of deliverance that was needed to be broken, that stronghold to be broken and that generational curse to be broken to bring in that physical healing that was needing to be done. And a couple days later, I went to a friend's house and I was telling her of this physical healing and so I was going in her house and moving things around and helping her do things that I realized as I was talking to her and moving around that I was actually doing at the same rate that I used to be able to do before my accident, that I used to converse well. I wasn't getting tired, I could move around more and I was speaking more clear and understanding instructions and I realized that God also had healed me of this last bit of my traumatic brain injury and what was done. I can read, I can walk, I can talk, I can go ride my bike, I can watch TV, I can go to movies, I can go to restaurants, I can be at church and just praise and worship Him, be around so many others, travel again, do things that was completely stripped away from me, but also know that I now have the peace, I have joy, I have this everlasting love, this unconditional love that surpasses anything that anyone can give me. But God can heal you in a moment. He can deliver you when you seek Him and believe in Him because He is real and He wants the relationship with you. It is so important for you, for you to know that your identity is in Jesus, that Jesus is real. God's power is real. Holy Spirit fire is real and the relationship with Holy Spirit who is inside each and every single one of us. He is our advocate. He is who Jesus left for us. When He died, when Jesus died and that blood was shed and He went down to the pits of hell and He was resurrected in life and when He ascended to heaven, He left us the Holy Spirit because He has given each and every single one of us the authority and the power to declare and claim His word, to go and to heal the sick, to go and to cast out demons and to bring about to others the life of Christ. I was made alive in Christ and so are you. He did it with me, He will do it with you. He will do it so many others. And God is real and He loves you. He loves you so much. And just remember to love Him as well. And He's just waiting for you to begin your relationship with Him. I am Tiana and this is my testimony.